And you know what? This weekend, I mentioned, looks like a pretty decent weekend if you want to do some yard work. And speaking of, this morning, our friend Jennifer Brennan, Horticulture Information Specialist with Shelley Nursery and Garden Center in Wilmette joins us. Hey, Jen, good morning. Good morning. I have I have happy hands because <laughs> I um, got an inch and a half of rain in my personal rain gauge yesterday and last night. I oh knew you gosh. would be happy about that. Oh, it's, it's been a blessing. It's a blessing. Yeah, it's been very dry around here. But you know, I do want to talk about bulbs. So some folks have said, well, I've already had you know below freezing temperatures in my neighborhood. Can I still plant bulbs? Is it still okay to plant those spring flowering bulbs now? Oh my gosh, Tracy, it is absolutely perfect to plant the bulbs right now, um, especially when it's a little a little chillier outside. It's easier to dig those holes, you know, when it's a little brisk outside. But um, after the wonderful, wonderful um, rainfall, uh, it even makes it easier because the soil is going to be easier to dig. Oh, these are some of my daffodils on the screen, and I love this planting. Uh, the people are using that's a bulb planter and uh, that's the hard way to do it it looks like it's the easy way um, but there's a better technique you can use and you know what i know you have some very creative ideas on planting bulbs versus you've used the analogy instead of rows like soldiers standing guard you have bulb bouquet ideas what does that mean well, what that means is uh, they say that you're not happy unless you have a hundred bulbs in your garden. And people look at you with that hand digger and go a hundred times. The easier way is to dig a hole eight inches in diameter and eight inches deep, put eight to 10 bulbs, large bulbs like tulips, daffodils, or hyacinths in the bottom of the hole, fill the hole halfway, four inches of soil on top of those bulbs, and then put the small bulbs like the grape hyacinth and the anemones around the edge, put the cell back on top, put the fertilizer on top, water it, and, and, and then don't forget to use the repellent to keep the animals from finding your bugs. Oh, here are my favorites, the Dr. Earth bulb food. It has 14% uh, potassium, which is the nutrient for bulbs, and then repels all. It just irritates the nasal passages of the animals especially the squirrels and the rabbits that would eat the bulbs when they come up next spring. Uh, but it just irritates their nasal passages. Oh, there's the Dr. Earth 314-2. It's the best phosphorus for roots. It helps the roots grow and the flowers. And there's, there my, there's my toolkit back right there. And you know what, Jen, I want to reassure everybody because that is such a great diagram that you shared with us. We're going to make sure we get this all on our website so that we can share with all of our friends out there who want to get out and work in the yard this weekend. So, Jen, thanks again for your time. Always, we appreciate the information. Thank you. Bye-bye. And yeah, abc7chicago.com. Well, you can see us right now, and we're going to get that whole story posted on our website for you later. Hey, if you like that video, be sure to subscribe to our ABC7 Chicago YouTube channel.